Hey kids, this is Ivan. How you doing? Well, I'm pretty excited. Looks like the stars are aligning, and so sometime in 2017, I'm going to play in a, a game, and hopefully a campaign, if the if the first game works out, online, uh, with a few other guys that are you know YouTube video producers, members members of the RPG Brigade. Not going to name names yet because I don't want to uh, jinx it, but you can probably figure out who these guys are. We're going to be playing all for one regime Diabolique. Um, from Triple Ace Games and you know powered by the Ubiquity system, so that should be pretty fun. So, actually today we were having a little conversation on uh, on Messenger, you know, the four of us, and just coming up with some basic, you know, kicking the ideas around, and, and a couple of us were talking about character concepts, and uh, so it was neat. It reminded me of, of uh, not only the video I did yesterday about uh, inspiration and style points in Ubiquity and you know, inspiration in Fifth Edition and other mechanics like that, where they reward you for role playing, but just a bunch of videos I've done. Uh, which pretty much all kind of rotate around the same or, or you know uh, topic, which is that you know, your character isn't necessarily you know baked when you first make them, <laughs> and they they may change. You don't want to count your chickens before they hatch, not just because a person might die, but because you know you might not you know the personality might not emerge or the personality you thought they were going to have you know, if you thought anything at all doesn't show up until you actually role play them for a while, and you you know it's it's a dynamic you know uh, interplay between the other players, the the world, you know how this character starts to act you know even sometimes without you realizing it you're like huh i guess this is how they are now so a little bit of a conundrum for me um because you know in uh, you know it's not a terrible stumbling block or anything but the idea in in any ubiquity based game like you know all for one you come up it right at, at character generation with what their motivation is um come up with a floor character floor or two that sort of thing so you know and you know, I, I think I'll be okay. You know, but I but I know sometimes that my characters have taken left turns. You know, sometimes the character that emerges is is I was dead on, I was right. And sometimes, you know, they take a serious left turn. You're like, oh man, I guess my guys are a lot different. You know, sometimes even in games that use alignment, which this does not, fortunately. Not that I'm against alignment, but uh, you know, but I don't want somebody you know telling me you know how I'm role playing my alignment wrong. And we'll just leave it at that. We're not going to get into the alignment discussion today. <laughs> um, but, you know, sometimes, you know, the, the characters take a left turn and I'm like, oh, man, I, I completely, you know, my original concept for this guy was wrong. So we'll, we'll figure that out. But, you know, I, I definitely I'll link a bunch of videos down below. Should you want to binge watch me talking about all those kind of things and, you know, character untimely character death, but mostly about, you know, the character that emerges over time. You know, I'll, I'll tell you one thing, though. The um, the idea of, uh, you know, uh, fully developed, fleshed out characters is uh, an old one and some people just don't realize this and uh here, here's the uh here's the evidence to me you know not not to, that there wasn't other evidence but here, here's here's the big one for me this is the rogues gallery look, look at that errol otis art 1980 there's even some great stuff on the back but i, I just dig this front cover strange as it is um, so i've had this book since 1981 you know when i started playing about 1980 and uh, it's mostly just, you know, this, this book was produced before, like, the internet and before, like, you could have, you know, uh, random character generators if you needed characters in a hurry. So a lot of it's just lists and lists of stats, you know, and some, some other stuff, some, some parties, you know, all that kind of junk. Um, but then you get to this one part in the book where it's actual characters from the people that played with, not only with Gary Gygax, but other, you know, other players, uh, you know, other games around the country. And uh, you've got these people here, like, like Luther. He's the, he's the guy with the crossbow. And, and Luther's a monk. And Luke, Luther has this great feeling as a monk because he attaches too much, um, let me see if I say it right, attaches too much importance to personal honor. And he'll run right into a fight if he feels he's been insulted. And only later, with great difficulty, realize the humility he needs, he needs to have as a monk. Uh, and uh, there's other ones in here. Uh, you know, I'm going to mess up the names, but I, but I think it's I think it's Rigby as a cleric that decides that the uh, spirituality is best maintained through temporal power. So he tries to oversee the religious life of others through actions, not just words. You know, and, and it goes on and on. You know, you've got you know guys that are kind of like hoarders. Um, you've got characters in here that are uh, you know there's there's uh, I forget the wizard, uh, but there's one that just you know rushes right into combat he, he gets so excited about melee that you know he'll just run right in there even despite the fact that you know he's a powerful wizard he just likes to get into a scrap every once in a while um there's there's the the somber you know people there's Arax cousin you know etc and you know a whole bunch more I, you know, but you know looking at those as a kid i realized you know um, it became more apparent to me that you could really flesh these characters out that they could become uh real people they get a lot more depth than just you know a fighter you know and oh my favorite fighter's name is is grog 
or you know whatever it is or a gork um uh, and you know they can develop a real personality and personality quirks you know there's, there's characters there that make sure they're never you know there's always two forms of egress at least doesn't like to be in enclosed in spaces and you know all that kind of stuff you know so these 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 characters in here they've got flaws and they've got motivations and uh so that's neat and these are you know at least in my experience things that you know you can you start off with you, you, your basic character concept but you know, to me they become the most real and the most fleshed out over time so you know i believe that's going to work out in this this game because clearly people have been you know playing yeah you know ubiquity based games for a while and other uh, games that use some kind of mechanic like that so i'll be fine but you know it, it's kind of an interesting uh you know uh, conundrum i suppose for me you know i, you know, I got to make sure that i get my this uh character i don't want to say get it, get it right but we are going to talk about our whole you know where i guess we're having session zero <laughs> and talk about these characters but you know, yeah, that's that's uh, you know, for me, just um, I don't want to say it's a conundrum, it's the wrong word, or, or it's another thing to think about when you're playing in any kind of game, which is going to reward you mechanically somehow for role playing your character based on you know how you say they are. So, you know, sometimes I, I think you have to be flexible in these games. That you know, I think most of the time you will get it right, and most of the time the character that emerges is still going to be. It might be much more rich and detailed, but it's still going to be. If, if I think I'm going to play a guy that's an altruist and uh, he might still be an altruist and uh, still still be uh, a crusader, you know, for good and whatnot. Um, however, every once in a while, you're going to take a left turn. You realize, you know, the original concept you had wasn't the guy that showed up for dinner. <laughs> what do you think?